what is up guys JPR Tech here and today I got a very different review for you guys it's not a tech review no gear nothing like that today we're gonna be taking a hop in a new ride it's called the Brightline it's a commuter train that uh, is here in Florida and I'm just gonna show you around show you some b-roll share my experience with, with you guys and later on we'll be back and I'll show you my thoughts of what I thought of this whole experience so hope you guys enjoy the ride Hello guys, Future Me here. I just want to cut in on top of this B-roll and tell you guys just uh, overall what Brightline is and also share my experience as I was riding the train. Now, if you don't know what Brightline is and I didn't know until I actually look up for a way to get to Miami from Orlando and this was a great option. Brightline is just a train that takes you from Central Florida to the South Florida. Now I believe they have like four or five stops, uh, Orlando, Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, and West Palm Beach, and all the way down to Miami, and that was the last stop. Guys, upon arriving at the MCO Airport, the Orlando International Airport, I was greeted with a beautiful, very modern, slick looking building, and it was pretty huge for such a small train with uh, just a few stops. The building is really spacious, well designed, and it looks like they're ready for expansion. So I think they build this building with that in mind. Now booking was a seamless experience as well. Just purchasing the ticket online, I didn't even have to use the available app that they have. Just online purchased the ticket, got an email with a QR code that is just used when you're going into the turnstile to get into the gate. Just scan that QR code there and you're all set to go. They do have to scan your bags that you're carrying with you for security and but there's no checking in to do so it's not like an airport where you have to wait a lot there's no line you don't have to meet anyone just scan your code and you are ready to board now the experience boarding the train it was again really a great good experience the people the staff is really friendly and nice this train is super clean and spacious entering was really easy to find your cart your seat and they even have an area for safe keeping your baggage that you will need with you or that are, are too big for the overhead compartment now you, there are a lot of space for overhead as well the chairs are super spacious it felt like a business class style of seats when you're on a, on a smaller plane it was really comfortable so for a big guy like me to say the seats are comfortable that's saying a lot the best part about the seats is that you do have power for charging your laptop tablet smartphone or whatever electronic device you have there is free Wi-Fi available but I elected not to use it because they do serve food and beverages but the menu was quite expensive so it's not included in the actual travel plans so keep that in mind ride was super smooth i was able to focus on my work relax take a nap do some more work and it was just really smooth and enjoyable the view is fantastic if you ever been to florida you know what i'm talking about those beautiful lakes and rivers that just come around with amazing beautiful yachts and boats it's just really really awesome ride and guys i can't finish this review without talking about the restroom because when you gotta go you gotta go and the restroom experience was amazing you know the way you open and lock the door was really seamless with just a touch of a button it felt like it's something from an avengers movie uh, there was no foul smell it smelled clean it looked clean and it was really spacious so you could even go in there with your luggage or if you have a, a baby you could have the baby cart there as well they even have a tray or a table for changing baby diapers now it was well thought out uh, you felt like it is cleaned and sanitized but even if you're concerned or worried about that they do have paper covers for the seats as well as paper towels tissues and even the air blowers to just air dry your hands so overall it was a great experience and lastly but certainly not the least is the pricing how much will this fare set you back 
I was surprised to find that ticketing in average, if you plan ahead, is only about $39 each way. So a round trip will set you back $78. And that's it. That is the flat price, including taxes. There are no fees. You don't have to check in anything. Pretty it's actually pretty cheap if you ask me now in this trip my personal trip it was a one-way trip back home and it was a last minute travel that i did so it was a little expensive it did cost me about 70 dollars to buy a ticket right on the spot it was like an hour before and it's just unfortunate events with family matters that occur that i put me in that position, but I'm glad that I went through this route through Brightline and not bought a bus because the bus is just a bus. You know what a bus is, right? It's bumpy, smelly, and just really tight and crowded. I'm really glad that I just shelled out a little bit more money over than the bus. And still the experience must have been way different, I'm sure. So I'm glad I went with that route. So if you're ever in Florida and you need to commute, say between an international airport that you're landing on, but you want to get to another city, Brightline, it's a great way to commute between the Southern and Central Florida. Guys, I know this wasn't a tech review, but for the technical aspect of this video, everything was recorded with the Canon EOS M in the 4.8K mode at 12 bits. And that's about it. Yeah, I shot with the Sigma lens that was glued to the camera, the Sigma 16mm f1.4. So I hope you guys enjoy this overview of the Brightline Railroad. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys on the next review DIY video and uh, happy shootings. Peace. Peace. No, it's peace. Two fingers. Peace. Yeah. All right. See you guys later.